Hello and welcome to Ixie and I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. We are reviewing five important tips to playing this game, which is a lot of fun. It's a space sim builder. It's the best way I can explain it. So let's jump right in. Tip number one, which I did not realize, is when you are upgrading your exterior construction and power, you actually can switch over to solar panel set two which is a lot cheaper. So you have two sets of solar panels. So don't just keep upgrading the ones that are super expensive. Make sure you also upgrade your solar panel set too, because it's actually really cheaper, right? You have your entry level panels. So make sure you switch over here and build these out to increase your power a lot more quicker and efficient. You can see here, I stupidly did not do that. So you'll save resources earlier game um, and upgrade your power a lot quicker. So make sure that you go ahead and do that. Tip number two and three are going to be focused on technology. So tip number two is you actually need to uh, research everything in a ring before you upgrade you to the next ring. So what you can see there is I just finished the last one memorials and now I have a new ring of upgrades. So make sure that you're not just sitting waiting, that you're constantly upgrading, um, filling out rings so you get to the next ring because you're going to need these outer technologies such as crop farms, cell housing, things like that. The ability to um, you know, lay down policies in different sectors. This is absolutely critical to your development. So always be researching. Um, which brings me to tip number three. Under each researched facility, there are additional things you can research. Now you have to meet certain requirements, but make sure that you're looking at these and researching them for each individual technology. So for example, one critical one um, under insect farm here, accelerated growth, increasing speed. Uh, so you can produce more food faster. A uh, workshop has a uh, Stanford initiative where they will auto repair buildings. So there's not as much clicking, you know, things like that makes um, production speed increase for probes. Now probes can move faster, ships can move faster and, and do other things. So make sure you are researching sub upgrades when you click on each of these as they unlock as you advance through the storyline. So tip number four is really focused on probes. Make sure that you are launching probes. If we actually go to our probe, um, you know, thing, I always keep it on auto, uh, which is pretty good right now. I have to produce some polymers uh, here uh, to build it, but always be researching and launching probes. Those are absolutely critical. So when you do have a probe, you're gonna search around, you're gonna see the probability of finding different things and make sure that you're unlocking points of interest to send your science ships to, to research, because that's how you generate science in many cases. So those points of interest tend to be planets or wrecks or things like that. And they'll have not only resources, but most importantly, a science you can collect to then do your upgrades, which you want to be doing. So those are tips one through four. Tip number five um, really comes down to uh, your fleet management. So here, make sure that you're prioritizing whatever you need. If you click everything, it'll just take forever. It won't kind of differentiate. So once you get multiple ships going, just make sure you're setting your priorities to be helpful uh, to go to exactly where you need to go. So those are five important tips to playing. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you want to see more Ixian, uh, please drop a thumbs up and comment. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in future videos. Shadow Coast out.